development and realization of Kenya's vision 2030 and the sustainable development goals and appreciating the invaluable role that teachers play in actualizing the national goals of education, noting that a conducive working environment for teachers enhances performance and recalling that, that the delocalization of teachers commenced in 2018 by the Teacher Service Commission immensely disrupted teachers' lives, lower teachers' morale, and caused untold trauma to many teachers countrywide. Honorable Speaker, concerned that the exercise was not supported with a clear policy framework and was initiated without the participation of teachers or their unions, contrary to, to Articles 118 and 132 of the Constitution on Public Participation and Involvement of the People in the Process of Policy Making, and cognizant of the fact that the localization of teachers is inconsistent with the United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, teacher deployment practice, which treats education as a culture process conducted within a people's cultural context at the local level. Honorable Speaker, I beg this House to resolve that the Teacher Service Commission immediately reverses the ongoing delocalization of teachers and initiates a comprehensive review of the teacher deployment policy with the involvement of teachers in order to make the policy consistent with International Labor Organization, ILO, and UNESCO laws and practices on teacher management and deployment. Honorable Speaker, I want to thank God for the opportunity he has given me and to thank the people of Lurambi for electing me uh, for the second time. And Honorable Speaker, as I move this motion, we are all aware that we have a problem in our schools. Education is uh, what we can give to a country. Our children and generations to come can only uh, be guaranteed when we have a better framework of education. Honorable Speaker, I rise here today to speak on this issue, delocalization, which commenced in the year 2018, whereby without any preparation, without any uh, participation by unions and education stakeholders, Teachers Service Commission began to move teachers from one point to another point. Teachers were moved as animals and not even as human beings. Honorable Speaker, education as we know is culture-based. And uh, when I was in school, Honorable Speaker, my teacher began to teach me in this format. Ma, me, mi, mo, mu. Ma, me, mi, mo, mu. Pa, pe, pi, po, pu. You know, because it is culture-based and is local, you can imagine, Honorable Speaker, in my school, in Shibuli, in Butsoto, if I had a teacher from another place with a different accent coming to teach me on how to say ma, me, mi, mo, mu, with their heavy accent or with their light accent, and so the TSC, contravened the basic, basic tenet of education whereby it is local. Teaching is local. Honorable Speaker, we are building and putting in a lot of uh, infrastructure in schools. We pride ourselves on how many schools we are built as members of parliament. We, we build story buildings, but we forget that if the welfare of the teacher is not taken care of, that story building is no good. A teacher who's taken good care of, a teacher whose welfare is taken care of, can post good results, Honorable Speaker, even if they are teaching under a tree. We have invested heavily and immensely. Honorable Speaker, you, I pray you protect me from 
there is a lot of talking. Proceed, Honorable. proceed. It's relatively lower now. Honorable Speaker, I'm forced to lift my voice of the bishop. I've heard you talk very loudly in your church, so speak like that. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I proceed. So, Honorable Speaker, I speak on behalf of so many teachers because, uh, Honorable Speaker, when the localization came in place, teachers' unions were stifled. Life was taken out of the unions of the teachers.